story, we heard how the Israelites were on their very long journey to the land that God had promised them. But they were moaning and complaining about how hungry and thirsty they were. And we heard how God provided bread for them called manna and water from a rock. But they still moaned. But finally, they had arrived on the edge of the promised land. But they were still moaning and complaining. We scared. What's it going to be like? What if something bad happens when we arrive? They decided to get Moses to send 12 spies into the land to see what it was like, to see if there was food for them to eat and what sort of people lived in the cities. So he did. When they came back, they explained what they had seen. Some of the spies were really happy. It's great. There's a lot of food to eat. Look at this fruit. But other spies came back and said, the people living there are huge. They look like giants compared to us. They are big and strong. But there were two spies called Joshua and Caleb who said, come on, God is with us. He has promised us this land and he will help us no matter how big our enemies may be. But guess what? The moaning and complaining started again. They will hurt us. They will kill us. We should have stayed in Egypt. When God heard them saying this, he felt angry and sad that his people still didn't trust him. He had helped them so much, got them safely out of Egypt, away from all of the trouble and hurt that they had there. He would provided food and drink for them and had led them to the land he had promised them. And yet they were still scared and still wouldn't trust him. So he decided to send them back into the wilderness until they stopped moaning and they trusted him. And do you know how long they wandered for? 40 years. A very long time. During this time, a lot of the people that had complained and that hadn't trusted God got very old and died. Then God decided it was time for them to stop wandering in the wilderness and to go back to the promised land. And so Joshua and Caleb, the two men who had trusted God, led them all across the River Jordan and into the special land. Everyone was so happy and they all cheered. Hooray! <laughs> they had arrived at last. This story is all about trust. We know that Moses trusted God and now Joshua and Caleb trusted God too. And eventually they arrived at the promised land. We can trust God. When we're friends with him, we can know that he is always with us and that he is amazing. I'm just gonna pray now if you wanna pray with me. Thank you, God, that you are always there for us and that we can always trust you. When things get tough, help us to look to you and not to complain and moan, but just to trust that you are there to help and guide us. In Jesus' name, amen.